Good evening, Dan. Well, most of the city council members expressed that they do not intend to raise the aquarium's rent. Rather, they feel it's their legal obligation to move forward with this appraisal. Now, those opposed to this, deci this decision say that they're not happy with the amount of money the city is shelling out for a rent review they don't intend to act on. Why are we spending $31,000? Residents are opposing Monterey City Council's decision to spend $31,500 on an appraisal of the tidelands where the Monterey Bay Aquarium is located. Currently, the aquarium has a 50-year lease that allows them to pay $1 in rent a year. The reason? The nonprofit serves as a public benefit, attracting people from all over the world. The State Lands Commission, when it authorized our permits back in 1981, recognized that the aquarium itself, because it was a public benefit organization, a not-for-profit education conservation group, therefore it was consistent with the purposes of the Tidelands for statewide public benefit, and therefore a dollar rent was all that was necessary. The lease authorizes the city to conduct a rent review every five years. The wording of the lease sparked a debate between council members about whether they were required to do an appraisal. Their legal counsel affirmed that it does. But this is the first time the city has sought an appraisal of the aquarium's location in 35 years. And the fact that this comes after the city of Pacific Grove proposed an admissions tax to the aquarium has some questioning their motives. Here the city is again considering a blatant money grab from a Tidelands property. In the end, the council voted three to two to spend the money to have an appraisal on record before the lease expires in 15 years. The State Lands Commission could ask us in the future more details about that location, and I'd like to be prepared. Now, in addition to the residents who spoke out against the appraisal during public comment, a lawyer submitted a letter on behalf of the owner of Fisherman's Grotto on the Wharf saying that an appraisal would be a waste of money because the fair market rates do not apply to the Tidelands. Now, the grotto, you'll remember we've reported, is also facing lease negotiations with the city of Monterey. Dan. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Bianca. City Council says getting an appraisal does not necessarily mean they will change the aquarium's rent.